When using stick powder, it is important that the correct diameter loading stick is used. If the loading stick diameter is too small, it will push into the explosive powder and then the chemical reaction between the different explosive components will not bind correctly with each other or with the sides of the shot hole and will thus not fire correctly. We must ensure that the shock tube is placed correctly in the primer. There must always be 150 millimeters of explosives in front of the shock tube to the front of the shot hole. This will ensure an effective shock wave is generated when exploding. We must remember that the loading stick can compact the explosives in front of the shock tube if pushed in too hard. This will affect the distance the shock tube is from the front of the hole. Where stick powder is used, it must be ensured that every stick fuses correctly with each other. Explosives may never be less than 400 millimeters from the collar of the shot hole or more than the burden between the shot holes. Otherwise, transportation of rock to the free face, termed the door, cannot be controlled effectively. The collar part of the shot hole will then always be closest to the free face and this will result in support being blown out. When using ANFO, we must use the correct pump. This pump will measure the correct amount of ANFO to be used per shot hole. With pumpable explosives, we always have to take into account the amount of swelling and expansion that will take place during the gassing process. Pumpable explosives swell 25% during the gassing process. This will affect the position of the stemming and the shock tube. This swelling must be taken into account when installing stemming and the shock tube. We have to ensure that there is space left for the loading stick guide at the back of the stemming. Stemming must not be placed where it fills the collar or protrudes past the collar. Ensure that the shock tube always has 150 millimeters of explosives ahead of it towards the toe of the shot hole.